So was the was that lightning decision more geared towards what's best for Bitcoin or was it more geared towards what's best for customers? Because I, I think at the time, you know, uh, and still today, lightning is primarily a Bitcoin or focused idea. It, it, it really doesn't you know, resonate with a lot of people who are not in the Bitcoin space yet. So I wonder, like, what what does that draw for? What did you guys see on the customer side uh, that that Lightning could enable today and and into the future? Um, yeah, so I think it's a bit of both. So one thing like that we did notice is there were a lot of um, small on chain withdrawals coming from our app, which is not ideal. You know, you'd have people because you're creating all these small UTXOs, um, which is not good for the chain, bloating the chain and everything. And so we did notice that a lot of people, I think from a broader customer perspective, a lot of people just didn't really know about Lightning. So it's not like it was strongly demanded. Definitely was on Twitter with like the Bitcoiners who, um, but part of it is just, we, we know, we believed in the Lightning Network and we wanted to push the envelope and um, essentially like become experts earlier than, than most. And um, yeah, just fight to, to release it. And that was actually an interesting, I actually felt like we were a little late, like, cause there were other places doing lightning um, well before us, but it was kind of a, it was a challenge from the, uh, as a big company that is uh, public that has like a very, you know, robust compliance department. Lightning's just a new thing. And so there is um, a lot of challenges there. And we had some great, great people working on how do we like do this and do it confidently from a like compliance perspective, which is not something I have to think about as an engineer, but you know, there's a whole compliance department that is trying to make it work with the regulators and all that stuff.